In immunology, an immunological synapse, or immune synapse, is the interface between an antigen-presenting cell or target cell and a lymphocyte such as an effector T cell or natural killer cell. The interface was originally named after neuronal synapse, with which it shares the main structural pattern. Immunological synapse consists of molecules involved in T cell activation, which compose typical patterns, activation clusters. Immunological synapse is the subject of much ongoing research. Structure and function The immune synapse is also known as the supramolecular activation cluster or SMAC. This structure is composed of concentric rings, often referred to as a bullseye model of the immunological synapse, each containing segregated clusters of proteins. CSMAC, central SMAC, composed of the theta isoform of protein kinase C, CD2, CD4, CD8, CD28, LCK, and FUN. PSMAC, peripheral SMAC, within which the lymphocyte function associated antigen 1, LFA1, and the cytoskeletal protein talon are clustered. DSMAC, distal SMAC, enriched in CD43 and CD45 molecules. New investigations, however, have shown that the original bullseye model is not present in all immunological synapses. For example, different patterns appear in the synapse between T-cell and dendritic cell. This complex as a whole is postulated to have several functions including but not limited to Regulation of lymphocyte activation Transfer of peptide MHC complexes from APCs to lymphocytes. Direct secretion of cytokines or lytic granules. Formation The initial interaction occurs between LFA1 present in the PSMAC of a T cell, and nonspecific adhesion molecules, such as ICAM1 or ICAM2, on target cell. When binded to the target cell, T cell can extend pseudopodia and scan the surface of target cell to find a specific peptide MHC complex. The process of formation begins when T cell receptor, TCR, binds to the peptide MHC complex on the APC. Specific signalization pathways lead to polarization of the T cell by orientation of its centrosome towards the site of the immunological synapse. The symmetric centripetal actin flow lays at the basis of formation of the P-snap ring. The accumulation and polarization of actin is triggered by TCR-CD3 interactions with INTE grins and small GT passes, such as RAC1 or CDC42. These interactions activate large multimolecular complex, containing wave, SCAR, HSP300, ABL2. SRA1, and NAP1 and others, to associate with ARP2-3, which directly promotes actin polymerization. As actin is accumulated and reorganized, it promotes clustering of TCRs and INTE grins. By this, the process upregulates itself via the positive feedback loop mechanism. Some parts of this process may differ in CD4 plus and CD8 plus cells. For example, the synapse formation is quick in CD8 plus T cells, because for CD8 plus T cells it is fundamental to eliminate the pathogen quickly. In CD4 plus T cells, however, the whole process of the immunological synapse formation can take up to 6 hours. In CD8 plus T cells, the synapse formation leads to killing of the target cell via secretion of cytolytic enzymes. History. It was first discovered by Abraham Kupfer at the National Jewish Medical and Research Center in Denver and the term was coined by Michael Dustin at NYU who studied it in further detail. Daniel M. Davis and Jack Strominger showed structured immune synapses for a different lymphocyte, the natural killer cell, and published this around the same time. Abraham Kupfer first presented his findings during one of the Keystone Symposia in 1995, when he showed three-dimensional images of immune cells interacting with one another. 
Key molecules in the synapse are the T-cell receptor and its counterpart the major histocompatibility complex, MHC. Also important are LFA1, ICAM1, CD28, and CD80 CD86. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.